Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to synchronize folders between multiple computers on your network. Uh, we're going to use a free app called SyncThing. So once you download it, it's just a zip file, you extract it, then you just run the SyncThing EXE. So this is a Windows 11 computer, and then we also have a Windows 10 computer here. So we're going to be synchronizing both of them. So if you have more than you know one computer, you could you know, add as many as you like. So we're going to run this. You'll notice it opens this command line box here. And then it opens up the web page. So you need to keep this open here. If you close this, it's going to kill the connection. And so once you're here, this is your main interface. So the default folder, it'll make this your default folder unless you tell it otherwise. Username, or user's username, sync. And then you can edit that. Now one thing you want to do is go into this edit section, go to sharing. And make sure if you have another computer here it, that it's checked. And I'll show you how to add a computer in a second. Then you also have you could pause it. You know this is pause the sync. Do rescan. You could pause everything if you want. Okay, so to set up remote devices, you need to. This one's already been set up for the Win 10 computer. So we're on Windows 11. The Win 10 is already set up. So to set up computer, you just click on Add Remote Device. And you need the device ID from the other computers, you know, if you're doing more than one, under Actions, actions Show ID. And then you could put a, whatever name you want. So you would go to, you know, you'd run this program on the other computer. So it opens up the web interface. Then you would go up to Actions, Show ID. Then you could copy this ID here. Then go into here, Add, Remove Device. Paste in the ID, give it a name and then save, and then it should show up in your list here. And then from here, you could pause all, you could show recent changes, add or remove another device, that type of thing. Okay, so to kind of summarize, this is Windows 11 Pro. Here's the default folder where things will be syncing into. It's enabled. It's shared with Win 10 Pro right now. Here's the last scan, the latest change. You know, this file was uh, removed actually. So now we're going to go over to Windows 10. So using the dark mode here, just to kind of, so you can tell the difference here. So this is uh, the default folder for this one here on Windows 10. Cindy instead of Todd. The same options. Already added Windows 11 Pro. You could click on it. You could see some stats there. The default folder. Pause it or edit it. Or like I said, you could pause all if you have multiple computers connected. You could add additional folders. And like I said, once you have the other device uh, connected here, I would go into edit just to make sure under sharing that you're sharing with the uh, other computer. So we're on Windows 10 and we're sharing with Windows 11 Pro. And if it's not trusted, you could do an encryption password. You have your general sections here. So this default folder, I can move this over. Let me cancel this here. So it's called default folder there. which you could change if you want. And then back to the sharing, you have some file versioning options, ignore patterns, some advanced options, which I won't get into, but you could check these out if you want to try out the program here. Okay, then we also have some settings for the whole app here. The GUI listen to address. Uh, you might have to set up, I think you are going to have to set up uh, user accounts for name and password for each computer you put it on. So go to the uh, regular settings here. Let me go back to the starting here. Actions, settings, go to GUI. Just set up, it doesn't have to be the Windows account. Just make a name and a password, and then you'll be good to go. And here's where you could change your theme too. And your connection options, ignore devices if you do that, ignore folders, and so on. Okay, so to summarize, we have uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10 computer. We have each one listed in our remote devices. We have our shared folder set up. Everything's up to date. Everything's green here, so it's connected. So now we're going to go to our shared folder on Windows 10. And let's just copy some files here. Let's do authors and license. Paste it into the sync folder. And now we'll go back to Windows 11. Go to our sync folder here. Give it a second to sync. Now you can see they've been copied over. So let's say we want to remove README 
from Windows 11, go back to Windows 10, kind of give it a second. Okay, and so now it's gone. So you can imagine if you had multiple computers all using this app here, you could just have a folder or more than one folder and just keep everything synchronized here uh, within these folders in between them. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. They have a write-up on their website on how to use it, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download it, and then if you want to check out the you know, write-up there, you could uh, do so as well. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.